Sometimes I feel like I'm an echidna. Spikes cutting out of my back in all directions. Each spike having a different emotion attached to it. The spikes can feel so much. Happiness, sadness, fatigue, fear, anxiety, shame, sleep deprivation, personality changes. It demands extraordinary emotional openness and makes me feel very vulnerable. Being a kid is the best feeling in the world. At that time of your life, you think anything is possible. Getting asked that important question when you're young. What do you want to be when you're older? The way our curious minds work when we're young was so creative and innocent. We all had a dream we wanted to do. So to take that dream and to make the choice to make it reality is one of the biggest achievements anyone can ever make. We study our whole lives. Every job is incredibly different and we love it because we are picking up skill sets and experiences. It's a university of life. We are like Pokemon. We evolve the more we learn and practice our craft. I work harder so I can save more money to pay someone to teach my mouth to speak with a different sound. I stand there with a cork in my mouth to teach my mouth and my tongue how to move in different ways. Learning how to speak with my mouth more open. Learning new lingo, phrases, tricking my brain to think I'm from a different country so I can have more opportunities to get work. I want there to be more diversity on screen. I get upset when I see an audition calling and it says Caucasian only. I can't even audition for the part and show them what I can do because of what I look like. Can't I go for the same role? Can't I audition for the character of Adam? I always get the token Indian, Asian, I'm just Australian. Can't I get the opportunity to play the role of Adam? It makes me hate the way that I look. Sometimes I stand naked in front of the mirror and I look at myself analyzing what I really look like. I feel like I'm losing my identity. Who am I? Who are you? Sitting in that room while waiting for your audition is scary sometimes. People practicing their lines, you hear them do it their way and suddenly, fear kicks in. They sound better than me. He's way better looking than I am. Look how muscly he is. My low self-esteem kicks in, and then, self-doubt. Adrenaline kicks in from the excitement of learning more of my craft. It's like a drug. <laughs> we learn where to look, how to stand, stand on your mark, create your environment. Don't overact, but don't underact. Just be normal, but also the character. Once you've ticked all the boxes, you are ready to perform in front of the casting agent. You have worked and studied your whole life, and the next three minutes could be your next job. This is everything you've been working towards. You have been practicing your lines till 4 a.m. You have made those lines your own conversation. You know those lines better than your mum and dad's name. You have become those lines, and that character is now your story. The bright light is on my face. The room is quiet and the camera is directly on me. My mouth opens and it's like second nature. Everything flows out naturally. No nerves. I'm shining brighter than the sun. I look up. They are happy with what they've seen. I killed it. I'm so proud of myself. I talk to friends and family. Then, the waiting game. The callback. I check my emails constantly. Checking my junk mail just in case it's gone in there. Why hasn't my agent called me yet? It's been two days, I should have got a call by now if I got the job. <sighs> my echidna spikes turn on, and I go into a roller coaster effect. Did I forget a line? Your family and friends start asking if you heard anything back yet. You feel like grabbing their face and screaming. No! Go away! You don't want to let them down. You don't want to let yourself down. You want everyone to believe in you again. I don't want people to think I'm crazy by doing this. I start to get desperate and I start praying to God. Please help me. I've worked so hard. Please, I don't know how much longer I can stay strong. I'm not even religious. Why am I praying? More insecurities kick me in the face. Everyone I know around me is getting married and buying homes. I'm still working my butt off for the next job. Do I quit now and have a life like everyone else, or do I go for my dreams? I can't settle down. I don't even know where my next job will be. 
We are like gypsies living out of a suitcase and not sure what will happen next. Nothing. Silence is the worst. It's been a week now. Surely my agent would have called. You suck. What are you doing with your life? Couldn't even get this little roll. I'm just a plank of wood floating in the ocean with nothing around me except for my stupid self. You are a failure. My body and mind start to come back to reality. I'm exhausted. I start to hear myself whispering under my breath. I need to be strong. The strong succeed. Hang in there. Your time will come. Usually I feel quite numb when I don't get the job. Then I realize I did the best audition and everything went 100% perfect. I realized that even though I didn't get the job, I got to perform my art in front of the casting agent, and I always treat them as my audience. <laughs> Getting an audition and performing for that role is a big achievement for an actor, and that makes me happy again. My adrenaline kicks in. For every successful actor or actress, there are countless numbers who don't make it. The name of the game is rejection. You go to an audition and you're told you're too tall or you're too Irish or your nose is not quite right. You're rejected for your education. You're rejected for this and that is really tough. 